Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, I just did a 20 minute video and realized that I just took a picture of me and then just rambled on for 30 minutes, not doing, not recording shit. Welcome back. 40 days, no cigarettes. Yay. Pedro, thank you for subscribing. Warren, thank you for the webcam. Just a couple of things real quick, guys. Tiger Aid. Tiger Aid from the Vaping Tiger. Uh, Lakeshore Lemonade is like a... It doesn't taste like an artificial lemonade. It tastes like the old-time lemonades used to get where they would put a little seltzer water in and then they would take a half a lemon and squeeze it and put the lemon in there with all the, the, the essential oils from the, the essential oil from the lemon. Tastes great. Awesome. Uh, right now I'm steeping three bottles from Mount Baker Vapor. They're in a box. They stay in the, they're going to stay in the box away from the sun, away from the light for a week. I take that box out, I shake it, put it back in the steeping box, close the steeping box, and close the closet doors. Right there. Right there. Um, battery safety, guys. Do not put the do not put your batteries in your pocket loose. All right. Don't put them in there with change. Don't don't put them in your pocket. Period. Unless they have a cover on them. Ninety nine cent. You can get them on the internet probably for like fifty cent. Sigeli seventy five watt still rocking it. Uh, every now and then it does kind of like when I just do it. It doesn't do it. Um, <clears throat> this lemonade is awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff is the owner of the Vaping Tiger. It's a local vape shop by my house. Excellent prices. Uh, guys, there's some things I want to go over real quick. Uh, everybody knew. You notice I, I don't have my Russian 91 tip, and that is because it is not going to focus. See that white stripe right there on both sides? It is starting to come off. It's not supposed to, but it is. It's not a clone. I've had it checked. Now, first of all, the place I bought they don't sell bought it from. They don't sell clones. And the other vapor, other vapors that have been doing this in this game a lot longer than I have said it's legit. Don't know why it's doing that. There we go. Uh, took the nickel nickel coil build out of this. I'll put another one in once I get my Snow Wolf 200 and I can actually vape on it for more than like two hours and temperature control. Uh, it is rocking Lakeshore Lemonade. My K-Fun V4 clone. It has still got the diamond coil in it. Doing great. Got to change the cotton out every day though. That, that cotton burns quickly. It gets funky click quickly, and it has got yogurt from uh, Schwartz. I'm a Spaceballs fan. I had to buy it. It's got Darth, Darth Helmet on it, and it was it had to do it. Um, someone told me the other day that this the vape causes mold to be in your lungs. That's bullshit. Absolutely bullshit because if it was, everybody in Louisiana would have mold in their lungs because you know it's the middle of summer right now and it is like 98 fucking percent humidity here. We are damn near sucking in water every time we breathe. So, whoever, whoever spread that, shame on you, shame on you, and uh, people who just Blindly listen to it. 
shame on you too, because check your facts. Um, <clears throat> also, guys, going out in public. When I'm out in public, I, I don't use my dripper. I use this. I use this. I use this. I'm actually. I do not actually use this because this is almost exactly like this. Even though after using this, this air draw sucks. Way restricted. My uh, K fun with the S kit in it is almost as airy as that one. Go figure. See, it did it. It, it, it did it. It, uh, it didn't fire at first, and then it, it finally fired, which is why I got so little vapor the first time. Um, you know, so, you know, I don't understand, you know, yeah, this is awesome and all that. Vape shops. Vape shops everywhere, guys. Everywhere, every, yeah, every city I, you can go to, there's a vape shop somewhere. Trust me, there is. You just gotta look for it. Google it. Google BFE Louisiana vape shop. It'll come up. Uh, I guarantee you there will be a vape shop around close to you, close to you, within like 30 minutes. And they'd be more, they'd be more than happy to have you sit around and vape. Because if you sit around and vape, you're gonna buy. Buy a tiger aid. You're gonna buy killer custard vapors in. You're gonna buy premium liquid. You know, you're gonna do it. And you might even buy a mod or two or some drippers or whatnot. You know, but don't be doing that shit out in public and just whiting out people. It's it's not fun. Maybe it's just like your friend, yeah. But random strangers, no, because they freak out because uh, they think you just blew smoke in their face. Some of them might have asthma and just freak out, guys. Don't be that dick. Um, in fact, those type of dicks are the reason why you guys in New Orleans can't vape in a casino. You can't vape in a vapor shop. How stupid is that? People leave the casino... They're not going to the casino in New Orleans because they can't smoke or vape. And they're going to other places. New Orleans, you're stupid. How about how about you let vaping in there? But the casino sends out all their club members. Their, their players club members. A vape pen. You know, something like you know, it's just like a little vape pen. You know, a little Ten dollar one, ten twenty dollar one. They can probably get it for like five bucks because they'd be like, we want to order thirty thousand of them. Okay, sell them to you for five dollars each. Hell, and they send them all to your players. Send them, send them to your smokers too. Send them to all your players, smokers, vapors, non-smokers, non-vapors. Send them to all. That way, if the people that don't vape don't want it, they can get it to somebody who smokes and go, hey, try this. You know, or don't you know? Smokers are like, hey, you know, I can go to my casino and vape and get my nicotine, and maybe they'll stop smoking cigarettes and vape. I don't know. And here I am rambling on again. When I just wanted to come on and say I'm alive, I just been really busy at work with work really busy uh, and be like hey now how's it going guys and you know, I'm rambling again and eventually I'll figure out how not to ramble and just be like this but any of y'all who are watching this that know me in real life <laughs> no that's not me Know that I can't just go da 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 da. I gotta go da 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 da. Oh yeah, by the way, da 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 da. da. You know, I go and just nonsense spewing out of my mouth.
And for everybody who watches and who eventually who decides to subscribe, I appreciate y'all. Um, I do want to do reviews, but I am a broke ass vapor. So I can only review what I've got. You know, um, <laughs> it's not much. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many times I can, you know, tell you about the support, you know, and the MVP3 Pro and the Sigeli 75 watt, the Russian 91, the K Fun, um, the sub tank. The sub tank I've been having since I started, and it does not leak. It doesn't leak. Maybe if I, maybe if I have it in its case, which is, because <laughs> I'm cheap. I have it in there, and I have it in my car, and I don't take it out. And it heats up, liquid heats up, and pushes a little leak out, seeps seeps a little liquid out. Maybe, but none of that doesn't. Um, so, with that, guys, I am going to bounce, because i got six minutes to get ready to go to work. <laughs> Not really, I got like an hour, I got like half an hour, because, um, it only takes me like 48 minutes to get to work, but it's a long-ass drive, and, you know, shit happens, and I don't like being late, but, you know, hey, guys, like I said, Next time you want to go out and you want to vape and you want to vape in public, well, why don't you think about getting like a little, a little, you know, like a little mouth to lunger and, you know, you know, be like, hey, look at me, you know, don't look at me, I'm, I'm just every everyday Joe Blow. You know, blow it up in the air. Blow it to the ground. You know, hey, do that. Maybe you want, maybe, maybe we can stop this stupid madness of, you know, you can't vape where you can't smoke. Two completely different things. Two completely different things, guys. And I used to think like that. I used to be like, oh, well, Vaping and smoking is the same thing. No, it's not, guys. It's not. Unless you're around somebody who is highly allergic to some type of food, you're cool. Just if you're going to be vaping within the vicinity of somebody, you know, like you're riding a car or somebody, and they're like, oh, yeah, you can vape. You know, like before you vape, you go, hey, do you have any food allergies? Just throwing that out. You know, and you know, maybe not like fog out their car with your vape, okay? Even then you might want to use something like this. You know, come out the longer. Just just at first, you know. When you first start vaping around them, you know, that way, you know, they can be like, eh, something about your vape just kind of makes my, my, my throat scratchy, you know, other than being like, and, and, and the poor guy goes into anaphylactic shock and, oh my God, my webcam, my webcam just was like, what the hell? But all right, guys, I've rambled on for 14 minutes. I will let you go. Have a great day. Have a great week if I don't talk to you soon. And I need a haircut, don't I? Yeah, I really do. I know I'm bald. I'm bald up here, but not, right, not around here. And it looks kind of funky. Hopefully, I'll get that rectified soon, but I got a lot of work. Later.